Hey guys, here's another Scuba Moto exclusive. I'm gonna show you how to fix a fence that's been leaning over quite a bit and it just had some pressure on the other side, trained it to uh, have quite a bit of lean. It's kind of hard to show in a video, but you can see the level bubble here to center the bubble means I gotta pull the base of the level about three inches away from the fence and that's just a four foot level. This is an eight foot fence, so it's got quite a bit of lean to it and this method worked really well. What we're doing is we're going to be using a concrete vibrator. So here at the rental shop, you can see we've got a couple to choose from. A beautiful Milwaukee brushless, and then we've also got a 110 volt uh, Wacker Newson. Now I'm not in a remote location, and I don't want to have to worry about battery life. So I'm going to go for the 110 volt. It's also a little bit bigger. It's got a little bit more power. And to use one of these is fairly straightforward. All you have to do is pull up the lock pin and once you've done that you can go ahead and plug the wand into the motor head and you're ready to go and let me tell you this thing packs quite a punch okay so it's strong enough it's actually a little tough to even hang on to and we need to get that energy to reconfigure the soil around each of these post foundations and in this case we're going to be straightening out for the posts now you could just leave cross braces on here for several months and eventually the fence may just retrain itself but if you want to do this a little bit quicker then we're going to essentially cause an earthquake around the base of these posts and it's called liquefaction i'll show you what didn't work first uh, you'll notice this thing's so powerful that once you turn it on its own weight buries it in dirt and that's because dirt's got a lot of air in it and as soon as it touches dirt it collapses the soil makes a hole without even a pile and it ends up just making a mess. This is not going to work. And I just wanted to let you guys know from my trial and error so you don't have to. In fact, it just made a mess. And because it collapses the dirt, I had to bring in soil just to fill the holes that it made. So what you really need to do is you need to have the fence be the earthquake. So we're going to go ahead and clamp this vibrator to the post. And that is going to shake the foundation. But watch what happens to that clamp. It wants to loosen. There's so much energy coming out of that vibrator, it's trying to loosen the big clamp that I have on there. So uh, here's a slight improvement. Also, I put spacers in to protect the fence post and to distribute the force a little bit better. You'll notice that on each side, I've got a wood block between the clamp and the post. So that's, like I said, it's gonna distribute your energy a little bit better and it's gonna protect your posts. We've got our diagonal brace in place, so we're ready to go. But again, keep your eye on that clamp. It's really tough to hold that clamp tight as soon as that vibrator kicks in. It really wants to loosen. Now, after a while, I got tired of holding the clamp tight. I also wanted to have my hands free because I want to rock the fence while the vibrator is going. And so I put a pipe on there. And the reason you want to rock the fence is because every fastener in the fence has been trained over a long time to have a lean in that fence. So you kind of want to undo the training of all of those fasteners so that the fence will stand up straight. We'll take care of the, uh, the dirt around the foundation and then by rocking the fence, we're going to also sort of retrain all those fasteners to allow the fence to stand up straight. The vibrator compresses the wood a little bit so you have to stop and maybe retighten. But as it turns out, you actually don't have to vibrate these more than about 60 seconds. Sometimes you have to do a couple of minutes, but for the most part, if it's clamped on and you're getting ground shake, like you can see here, then it's going to reconfigure the soil around that post foundation pretty quickly. And look how loose this uh, brace is now. I mean, these braces had a ton of pressure against them when I was trying to hold the fence up straight. Now it just comes out loose because the dirt has essentially reconfigured around the base foundation of these posts. So now we can take things apart. Look how much energy was passing through this wood. It actually put a little bit of a burn mark on the post. So don't underestimate how much energy you're putting through here. You are essentially causing a reverse earthquake. You can see the ground movement there. That's actually a really good sign. And this was the worst of the post. We're now finishing the fourth and final. And you can see the ground shake there. And that's what you want. But keeping the clamp tight, that's going to be one of the challenges. So hopefully this pipe method will work well for you as well. 
Again, I had to stop once in a while, retighten that clamp. But as long as your clamp and the vibrator are tight against that post, you're gonna get the effect that you need. Now this one I did in two stages because it was leaning so much. So after the first vibration treatment, I added a block to push the fence a little bit further straight up and now we're gonna treat it again. And in that case, it just took the two positions of vibration and that post stayed up straight. So we can check it real quick. Looks like we had success. So now we can disassemble our clamp and you'll notice I've got one fence board pulled aside for each of the posts. That just gives you a little room to get your clamp around. It was very minimal disassembly of the fence that was necessary. Once we get our blocks and everything out of the way, we can put the screws back in and put the fence back together. Take our cross braces away. Do a quick check. Man, that looks great. This was a very successful project. I hope you guys have as much success as I did. And we can just put our little inner rails back on. So the final cost of getting the minimum half day rental on the concrete vibrator was less than 50 bucks, but having a fence that stands up straight, priceless. Well, if you guys like this video, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And to help out anybody else trying to do this, please do share this video. Thanks for watching.